We stick together like the glue on the lashes On flee like the brows, never throwing in a towel Always ready for the town, looking beautiful together You're stronger than ever, your community don't tether Yeah, your sisters forever Girls before you missed her, be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister I said, and put your girls before you missed her Be part of a team, yeah, we're beauty's big sister Check it Beauties, welcome back to my Beauties Big Sister channel and to a testing video of the brand new Urban Decay Naked Wild West. As always, I'm keeping this really real. So this is the second time of filming this. I filmed two looks with this yesterday. Looked great, took pictures, looked good. I've then gone to edit it today and the eyeshadow looked super super patchy and you know obviously I gave my review on it and said that I really liked it and I you know I was really really happy with the looks but then when I've gone to edit it it did look completely different on my camera with my lighting I could see kind of patches in the eyeshadow looks and I was just not happy to put that out so I am going to give this a second chance today and see how this turns out I don't know whether it's because I was using the eyeshadow brush in it maybe it's the brush I didn't really get on with or I'm not sure so we're going to give this another chance today and see how it applies again I'm going to do my two looks so I'm going to do similar to what I filmed yesterday and I can compare the looks and hopefully we don't get patches today but let's see naked wild west this is the first ever vegan palette that urban decay has done which does make me think maybe it's a change in the formula that i am not liking i don't know we're going to give this a go it is a roundup of matte satin metallic and shimmer shades every mood under the western sun saddle up with 12 ultra rich pigments in just one palette so it does say on here it's a vegan formula it does not contain animal derived ingredients or byproducts it does say on the back that that all these shades have their iconic naked eyeshadow formula but it is definitely going to be different if they have changed the ingredients within it so let's see i'm going to do more of a paired back look more of a natural quite fresh nudie kind of eye and then we're going to go in with a green eye so i'm just going to take my um decay eyeshadow primer potion which they sent in the press mailer so i'm just going to cover my lid in this i mean does anyone else use this i am quite lazy with my makeup so i don't really use a primer that often to be honest only if i'm going like proper out out <laughs> this is what the palette looks like the packaging is beautiful so it's, it's kind of like snake print kind of looks the same size as the other naked palettes and then these are the shades that you've got in them so you can see that i've had a dip into these shades already really nice lineup of nudes you've got more cool tone we've got warm tones here and then of course we've got these pops of green which is the main point of this palette i think the main standout point of this palette yeah it'll be interesting to see how these work today i'm going to use a normal kind of lineup of brushes and we're just going to see how this does apply onto the eye first of all go into this light creamy shade that we've got in the collection this is called stand off and this is very very light so this is pretty much just to set down your primer set down your base it does make the eyes look a little bit like fresh and then going to go into spur which is more of like a peachy shade and I'm going to pop that right into the crease there isn't that much difference with this shade it's just a slight little bit of colour so I'm just going to try and like build up please don't judge my eyebrows I know they look absolutely horrendous I definitely need to sort them out so if anyone's got any like recommendations of at home lamination brow kits please do let me know because i'm in need my brows are in need <laughs> and then taking this more buttery light nude which is called nudie and again just using that right here this is applying better i think than yesterday i think it was the brush that you get in the um palette I, i'm not used to using brushes that come in palettes so i think that's probably where I went a little bit wrong but let me know what you think comment as you're watching and <laughs> let me know if it's looking good on camera 
Now this shade I am loving and I think it's actually a really nice difference in the collection. It's a shade that I haven't really used before which is a cool tone like grey nude. It's called Laredo. Um, so I'm just going to pop this again right into the crease here. Create a little bit of depth but I think this shade is really really pretty. I've never really used a tone like this before I think it's quite different for me if you're wondering this is the bare minerals the blender brush I love fluffy brushes like this so this is what I'm sticking to today because we want to see if these shades blend <laughs> I'm gonna wet my brush taking the um, decay all-nighter setting spray on a smaller brush and I'm gonna take this dark brown in the collection which just looks beautiful the shade is called whiskey so you can see I've kind of ruined the palette a little bit <laughs> by wetting the brush but I really want to use this as a liner for this look I'm going to take this really close to the lash line just starting from like halfway in to kind of wing this eye out so that we get that kind of like foxy like shape to it right as you can see I am getting a little bit of fallout with this I think it's probably a little bit more fallout than what I normally get with naked palettes but you can see it's just like a subtle wing just going to take a tiny bit of that Laredo shade and then pop it right underneath the eye here but quite close to the lash line I'm going to go back into this standoff shade and use this on my finger I really like using these kind of creamy buttery tones to brighten up this inner corner of the eye so just take it on your finger and then it just kind of accentuates that nice creamy spotlight there taking that actually quite far into the eye and then you've got that nice wing there i really like that i can't see any patching at all right now as i'm looking into the mirror so i'm hoping that it's the same on camera right now but i think that is a good eye i mean i use my naked heat all of the time as you can see but this is really the spectrum that i always wear so i think this cool tone is actually really nice to mix it up I normally go in with another load of mascara but as i'm doing another look i am going to keep my lashes like this but i think the tones of these shades are really really pretty it's actually quite like fresh for spring which i really like so now we're going to go into the greens which i don't really know what to do with these shades. I tried yesterday and I looked a little bit like a uh, Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I'm first off just gonna do maybe like a green liner. I don't know, let's see what this shade looks like. This one is called Tex and it's like a khaki green. Basically gonna outline what I've done before. Just going with a little bit of green. Oh, that looks quite pretty. It's actually really pigmented, but can you see? The fallout underneath here. It's quite cute. Does that look cute? Do we like that? This shimmery green just looks beautiful but again I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. I might pop that underneath the eye. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. The shimmer in this green is so so nice. I'm gonna take it more towards like the outer and not put that much on the inner. I don't know whether I'm going to regret this but <laughs> let's go in to this gold because it is super pretty and I didn't try it yesterday and I am intrigued. So this is the shade Hold'em. It's actually really nice and subtle. I'm thinking it might be better with my finger. It's actually not that pigmented which I'm surprised at. I thought you get a bit more oomph than that probably would if you used it wet but actually I'm really liking that for a little bit of just like a soft veil over the eye rather than too intense and that's super pretty yeah you didn't ruin it <laughs> so hard isn't it with makeup to know when to stop there's a very fine line before I get carried away I'm gonna go in with my lash freak mascara um, that they have sent and just top up my lashes a little bit and I'm actually just gonna lift the lashes towards this way so I'm gonna lift the lashes outwards so that I get more of that winged shape to like follow on like even from that can you see the difference we're just winging the lashes this way it does help 
to actually get that cat eye, foxy eye kind of look. The magic of mascara couldn't be without it. So this is the green eye. I haven't gone too out there green because to be honest, I tried to use the dark green like all over yesterday and I just didn't like how it looked on me anyway. So I tried to take it off, tried to reapply it. I think that's why it went a bit funny. However, today I am actually really happy with this look. I think the gold and the green actually look really nice together. And if you do want to wear the green in a more subtle way like I have, it's actually really nice sweeping it underneath the eye and also using it as liner as well. I never really do liner like this, but I love how I've done this with both looks in this tutorial. But let me know what you think of this product. Let me know what you think of this palette. Are you going to get it? What are your thoughts? From using this palette today, I don't think there is a difference with the vegan formula. I think it works just as well as the original Naked. But again, do let me know your thoughts. I'm scared to now watch this back and edit it. Hopefully it looks as good on camera as it does in person because I really, really like this look. Let me know what you beauties think. Thank you always so much for your support it really does mean the world i hope you have a lovely weekend and i will see you in my next video bye yeah, with beauty's big sister check